Hey guys, Tony the Truck Guy here. I'll show you how to remove your 99 to 04 Jeep Grand Cherokee uh, factory radio today. You're gonna take your pry bar, skosh, and uh, gently pry around here. Uh, this should come off. There we go. So next you uh, remove the four Phillips head screws, one in each corner. And then grab and pull. Unplug your antenna. And then push, there's two tabs right here, that one and that one. Yeah, push, well that's two different plugs. Push the tabs in, pull out, like so. So you have to remove this black trim piece from your new deck. And you kind of just pry up on these little tabs in here and pull out. There's four of them that hold it in. And where's my other one of these? Gotta stick these in there. And slide this little sheath off, and then your little things will fall out. You'll lose them. <sighs> So take your face plate and put it back in however it's supposed to go. Click it in there and hold it right side up. And if you'll look at the back of this plastic piece, it says top right in the center there. Oh, sorry. Top. So. Oh, I lied, it goes this way. Get in there. Crimson chin. Here it lock in. And take your little cover piece. Pop that back on. However it goes. Oh, I remember. I don't think it matters. They're both the same. Like that. Also make sure you bend these tabs upward so it catches on this plastic so it's not all loose. Four of them, two on the top, two on the bottom. Got to bend them over nice and tight. By the way, the filler panel piece comes with... Be right back. Also comes with this square one for uh, like 93 or whatever, 93 to 98 Jeep Grand Cherokees, the model before the WJ, the ZJ. The square ones are for the ZJs. Um, and it's again Metra and their install instructions are terrible. So that's why I showed you how to do that little bend tab thing because it didn't tell me anywhere. And then the IBR-512CR is your part number. Go on. So uh, you're going to need this antenna adapter. I don't know. This one's made by Metra. And uh, part number is IBR-CR10 for Chrysler, Jeep, and Dodge. And how you do this is you just take the small end, plug it into the antenna until you hear it click. Make sure it's nice and tight there, and then the other end just goes into the deck. Like that. <clears throat> I 
You will also need this uh, factory adapter here. So we've got another Metra brand again, uh, IBR-WHCR2, and it looks like this. It just plugs in here, it only goes one way. Here, click, and then you just match the colors. Um, you know, red to red, blue to blue, and what so on and so forth. You gotta be careful, there's some wires, like there's two purples, but one of them's got a black stripe on it, so make sure you go purple with black stripe, purple with black stripe, etc. Make sure to pay attention. Uh, just use butt connectors. I usually try not to just twist them together or anything, because that comes undone and they can short out, so I'll show you what I use in a second. So I'm using 3M, you can use anything, but I use, uh, for this it looks like we're going to want the 22 to 18 gauge wire butt connectors. They're pinkish red. Uh, these are the heat shrink ones, which means after you crimp them, you can take like a lighter or a heat gun and heat up this part of it and it'll shrink. Uh, pretty much keeps corrosion and stuff out, being that these wires are inside the vehicle, not outside. They're not going to be in the elements at all. I probably won't heat shrink them, they're just extra time, I'm just going to crimp them. So uh, we'll start, let's just do, uh, we got orange here. These ones are already pre-stripped, you just got to pull them off. Put your uh, connector on there. Get some handy dandy crimpers, these ones came in a skosh kit. Red means put red butt connector in that slot. Like that. Pinch. And uh, this one's just regular orange with no stripe on it. But the only orange one on here has a white strap. So I'm just going to go ahead and say that's probably the orange that we want. And these ones are not stripped yet, so we'll have to get the wire stripper on those. And stick it in the other end. And just repeat that till you got all the colors matched up. So now we have the whole assembly put together. And I'm just going to make sure your 10 amp fuse is plugged in all the way there. Plug this back in so you hear it click, and you got your. These are for my, you know, this is a good time to plug in your subs and stuff, your coax cables. And then uh, I have right here. So the only wires that we didn't use on this adapter piece here are this black one and this brown one. I don't know what those are for, probably something else. Um, the blue. I twisted together and put in one end of a butt connector and then on the other end of it I tapped in. This is my remote wire for my subs. So that's a good place to tap in for that because it's switched power. So then you just plug this in. Oh, your radio. Your antenna first since you have more slack with that. And we will hear it click. I don't notice that I have another plug here this is the limited model so I have the remote control or the remote Button. steering wheel remote uh, buttons for the radio I gotta buy a module so that function still works so I'm not sure if that taps into this or into that I'll get back to that later in the video but for now I'm just gonna put this together and run it as is so uh, make sure everything works here wherever I put my keys in. And when I turned my deck on, you can see my blue LED came on here for my subs, so it's getting power to the subs. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Got your sub adjustments.
auxiliary. So now all you do is just put this whole thing in there, tuck all your wires up out of the way so they're not getting pinched or nothing, and uh, put your four Phillips screws back in and then just pop that trim panel back on around it and then you're done. Now if you have your factory um, steering wheel controls for your uh, radio, what you're going to need to do is buy this steering wheel controller. Uh, part number is ASWC-1 and it's an uh, interface so it adapts it so you can use it. Um, so for the Jeep Grand Cherokee what you do is you got to find the red wire here and <clears throat> here it is. Here's the unit itself. A couple LED lights there. You got to plug this in. There's a black plug or a black wire that comes off of it and you need to plug it in to the back of your radio I'll show you right here uh, there's just a little like a headphone jack right there you plug it in so the black wire from the ASWC controller goes there um, the red wire from the ASWC needs to hook on to a uh, switched power which is red wire coming out of your factory harness, red wire. Um, and then the pink wire, you need to tap into what they show here as pin number 14. So this is 12, 13, 14. The third one in on the bottom, which on mine was this yellow and blue wire, yellow with blue stripe. So the, I spliced the pink into that and then make sure that you still have the uh, other half of the blue and the yellow in there as well. So you'll have three wires stuffed in that connector. And uh, and then the uh, there's another black wire coming off the ASWC that you need to splice in right here to your uh, factory ground, which is black. So plug the antenna in black to black, pink to yellow with blue stripe, and red to red. And then what you do is you turn your ignition on, and uh, mine's already set up, but the red LED will start blinking. Red LED will start blinking, and uh, what you have to do is press and release the volume up button multiple times. And then after a couple seconds, the LED will start flashing um, seven green flashes, and then it'll stop for a few seconds and do 11 red flashes. Um, and then after that, the auto detect should be done and your steering wheel controls should work. Also note that you can still change um, your inputs with the factory as well as switching tracks but I believe if you're on radio yeah the middle button um, on the left steering wheel controller the middle button will change uh, stations. So then you just gotta put your radio back together, everything works, all said and done. Um, only thing is, this plug never got used for anything. This was plugged into the factory uh, radio, I don't know what that's for. I do have a slight buzzing still um, as RPMs increase while driving. Um, I'm assuming this is some sort of a ground issue, so I ran another ground wire to my uh, metal piece in the dash in an effort to try and uh, fix it. Uh, we'll see if that works, but as far as hooking the radio up and getting your steering wheel controls to work, this is it. Thanks for watching.